Today I'm going to show you all energy fragment locations, the best mods in the game in my opinion, as well as all the unique weapons that are required during story missions, not going to include energy fragments and story missions, although you do get a full bar for beating the faceless manifestation and the tablet of wisdom path. Uh, different parts Sometimes of the mission, once you complete the entire mission, it adds up to another bar. By the end of the game, you'll have 8 to 10 bars, depending on how many faceless manifestation encounters you get. I'll get into that uh, shortly. And then by the end of the game, you'll be able to spam your right of the star like this. Now, I do have another video that I'm going to link in the description for all the energy upgrades. There's none for the right of control. But if you want to get the upgrades for your rights, you can check out that video. Just check out the pinned comment uh, for the after leaping temporary overcharges, the right energy capacity. I'll mark that location in a pinned comment. So now we'll get into the location of all the energy fragments and the best mods in the game, as well as the unique weapons. You gave nothing but. Our first energy fragment can be located in Stega Centro, basically after your first ambush with the Enclave and you get free roam. Come over where you get the Drift, but before getting the Drift, stop over at Kua Haven, investigate, complete the mission, and get an energy fragment. Next up we have a unique Gatling gun, which is the first mission in a quest that you can acquire by sensing this area right over here. This will put you on like a four part quest to go find the queen and kill the queen. Now personally I do recommend just getting the level 3 Gatling gun but if you're gonna do this quest before getting the level 3 Gatling gun then you might as well use the Rage Talon up until that point. It does have a nice, nice set bonus when combined with uh, another mod that you get from a story mission about this point in time or slightly later and with the set bonus enemies receive 50% more damage when attacked from behind which does work when you use your right of the hunt so it's not a bad weapon until you get the tier 3 the next mod you want to look out for is the crystal reactor now this isn't more for the beginning game even though it's pretty decent in the beginning it's more for the end game once you get the other two pieces or a potential three-piece set. The Harmonious Trance is really beast. This is located in the Stega Realm right here, defeating the Circle Patrol. The next upgrade you want to look out for is the Crystal Capacitor. This increases the right energy bar by one. It's not going to be for end game. It's more for the beginning and middle you're going to use it. Now, you're going to be using the Refugee Convoy once you get to the point of collecting all three and starting the convoy, then you'll get the upgrade. The reward you acquire for beating the Refugee Convoy, which can be done very early in the game, once you enter Stagger Realm, just complete the first couple missions, find the res Refugee Convoy, complete it, go back to uh, Stega Central, and your reward is a level 3 Gatling gun. Definitely really nice to have early in the game. If, it, if you do this as soon as possible, it can really help. Just to show you the weapon that you get for doing the convoy, this is the Guardian Fang right here. Its fire rate is well, long gun. Immensely faster than the other one. Damage isn't that great, but the fire rate really makes up for it. It is like so much better than the level 2. Great gun to have early, so definitely go get that. The next energy upgrade you can get is in the Amarok system. After completing uh, the first part of Renak Haven, you'll be sent on the quest to go get the Dark Energy. After you get the Dark Energy, you'll be ambushed by six faceless. This is an optional objective, but complete it to get an energy upgrade. The next upgrade you want to look out for, which is good from this point to the end of the game, is the Crystal Capacitor. 
increases right energy bar by two, which is huge grabbing it early. This can be located once you get to Amarok. Just come over here to Setra Haven and do a very easy mission to acquire the mod. Next up in Amarok at the Nair Core Outpost, complete a mission there and you can acquire the level 3 unique Shredding Claw. This has a lot of firepower, but very low fire rate. Next up in the Amarok system at Nuju Outpost, you can start like a four part mission. Upon completion of the mission, you will get the level three unique rocket launcher. You actually can get three different mods for the rocket launcher as well by doing this mission. Our next energy upgrade can be located immediately after unlocking the Canuck fields. Go to the ancient wreck site and complete the mission, which will give you a energy fragment and an energy upgrade because now you have a full set. The next mod to acquire is one of the best mods in the game, reducing right energy consumption by one, allowing all your rights to cost one less. Your sense is now free. Right of the star is two. Everything else is one. So to acquire this, you have to go to the Canuck Fields. And then there's this area right to the right of the jump gate. A little bit around the ice. And complete a easy turret mission over there to acquire the mod. Now I think you do have to do the temple first. I can't remember if you have to do it initially. It wouldn't unlock for me initially, but... You might have to unlock Right of the Star before you can come over here and start. Next up, I have the level 4 unique weapon, the Nimica Claw. Now I'm including all the level 4 unique weapons. Time to kill is slightly faster if you land your shots. It's more of a precision weapon, very high damage, slow rate of fire, very high rate of fire, low damage. The Death Fang can melt almost as fast as the Nimica Claw and you get uh you don't have to be sitting still as long Death Fang is a lot better for sticking and moving that's why i like it better but the nimica claw is really fun to use too if you like precision weapons personally i like flying around all over the place and shooting a lot and landing most shots versus sitting with the rifle but it's fun to use the location for it is the Hall of Words. Just do the Hall of Words mission. In Next up we have the level 4 rocket launcher and laser rifle. Now the rocket launcher can be gained right after reaching Nimica by doing this civilian convoy distress mission near the jump gate. For your laser rifle you're gonna have to get the voice then get this mission for the Guardian training site. This is like a six part mission upon completion of all the missions you'll get the unique laser rifle. Now, the two achievements that say you need to use a level 3 rocket launcher and level 4 laser rifle, you actually need to use the level 4 versions. Do the same thing that it says, but use the level 4 versions. So, that's how you get those two achievements as well. So that was all energy fragments. Best mods, in my opinion, in the game and all the unique weapons, everything not story related in the game that I feel is the best ones to go and seek out first. I hope this information helps.